Hi and welcome to the second AutoCraft tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to go over piloting an airship and uh, the requirements for building an airship, uh, which actually I'll go over first. Uh, there's a few commands in AutoCraft that will help us with building an airship. Uh, these are AC or, uh, list and AC allowed and ship type. So the first command, AC list lists the valid block types on the server, or sorry, the valid ship types on the server. Uh, so you see airship, battle, bomber, CIS, const, dreadnought, L, which is short for elevator, pirate, transport, and turret. Um, I've gone over these in more detail on the forum, including their stats, so I won't get into it here. Uh, however, if you're interested in a type, uh, what it requires, and what it can do, uh, you can use AC allowed and the airship type, or the ship type. If you want to view an airship, we can go AC allowed airship. Uh, press the enter key. Make sure after you bring that up, you hit T again, so you can actually view the entire report. Otherwise, you won't see all of it. And this here is telling us allow block types for airship, along with some of its statistics. Uh, so this here is a, a weapon information. So it says can fire bombs, so if it can be armed with cannons, is true. Next one, if it can fire an aerial torpedo, which is also true. Uh, in this case, the airship can't drop bombs, and these include both the standard bombs and napalm bombs, which are a lot of fun, uh, but the airship can't use them. Uh, max cannon length is one. I'll go over cannon length in the weapons tutorial. Uh, same with cannon material. Uh, these three here are very important. Uh, every ship type in AutoCraft has a main block type. Uh, in the case of the airship, it's wool. And this main block type uh, has to be, or it has to be the minimum number of blocks of this main block type in the airship. Uh, that doesn't mean wool is to form the like most significant portion of the blocks, but there has to be at least 40 of the 600, or however many you have, have to be of the wool type. Um, as for other allowed blocks, uh, this year's list, cake, glowstone, fence, etc., etc., for our blocks that are allowed to be used in the airship. Uh, if you're not using a valid block type, when you go to pilot the ship, it won't the uh, register as part of the airship, and then when you try and move it, you're probably going to get some kind of obstruction message. Uh, server won't explode or anything, but you won't be able to fly your ship. Uh, some of these don't work. Uh, signposts definitely do not work. They hop off the airship. Um, any block which you can change state will not work, so doors will not work. Uh, pressure plates do not work. Uh, I haven't tested uh, redstone wire yet, uh, but torches work fine. Levers work fine, uh, even though you can flip their state. haven't figured that one out yet. Um, buttons work fine. I use them mostly for decoration since there's nothing else that they can actually trip on the ship itself. All right, so we're going to walk out here and I'm going to go over the basic ideas of piloting a ship. Uh, first, when you're building them, uh, I recommend you do it in a nice, flat, big, open area. Um, I build mine here. The very first one I built, which was the one we were looking at in the first tutorial, I actually built it in place where it is. Uh, that was a colossal pain in the ass, building it in the air, so I recommend you build it on the ground. Uh, when you're building it on the ground, uh, make sure that if you have some kind of buffer like this, it's made up of a block type that is not valid for the airship. In this case, it's a cobblestone, which is not valid for the airship type. Uh, so if you build a ship in contact with the cobblestone, you won't have any issue when you go to pilot it. It makes it a nice buffer. Um, in this case, uh, ground isn't a valid block type for anything either. So if you built it right on the ground, you wouldn't have that issue. If you're building it on a wooden frame or something, for example, you may have that problem. So we're going to hop in to pilot the ship. Um, we hop in. Uh, we can see the majority of the ship is wool, so it's definitely more than the required 40 blocks in here. Uh, I built a cockpit in mine. All my ships have a little cockpit. There's no actual requirement to build a cockpit per se. Uh, the only requirement is the block you're standing on when you pilot has to be the wool type for this ship. Uh, for a Dreadnought, for example, that would have to be Obsidian since that's the main block type for the Dreadnought. So the command to pilot the ship is AC pilot, or you can use ACP for shorthand, and the ship type you're piloting. So in this case, we're gonna use airship. And it says you're now in control of your ship, you use the right mouse to guide the ship. Uh, flying is very simple. You simply look where you wanna go and right click. Um, if you're not using any item in your hand, you have to have the cursor over a block so that Minecraft actually registers the right click. Uh, that doesn't work if you're just looking out in the plain air and you right click, nothing happens. I generally use a jar or die because when you right click on almost any block type, nothing happens. It's not uh, 
an actual action, but Minecraft still registers the click. So in this case, for example, we can move back and it'll actually register the movement. You didn't really see much there, but the ship did move. And you can move in all the directions, uh, like all four corners and diagonally. You simply look and click the mouse. A uh, very click, quick click will generally only move you one block, whereas a full click will move you the full movement of the ship. In the case of the airship, it's three blocks. In the case of the transport, it's seven. Uh, I recommend if you're using a transport type, uh, you don't move too, too fast because the server will literally not be able to load the chunks as fast as you're moving and you'll get some weird errors. In this case, uh, for uh, this one, you won't have that issue. Uh, you don't need to keep left clicking either. If you want to just go in a straight line in one direction, you can just hold the mouse down and the ship will keep moving in that direction. On the forum, we have links to a mini map which if you're going to be piloting a lot of ships, I highly recommend because it makes navigating significantly easier. It updates fast enough to be practical for use for navigation. Uh, the other thing I want to mention here is you don't necessarily have to stay uh, put when you're piloting a ship. You can move around to a limited extent, which is handy if you want to try and dock the ship somewhere. And that was the server not keeping up with the ship moving. There we go. So we're going to look down. We're just going to do really short clicks. And we went too far. We're not getting out of there. Too far again. No, nope, nope, maybe that was okay. There we go. Good enough. All right, to unpilot, just type ACX. And it'll say you've stopped piloting the airship. So in that case, then, you can just right-click at your leisure and you won't have an issue. Um, occasionally, when you're flying, you may be punted out of your pilot seat or whatever. And it'll tell you that you've stepped off your ship and you're unpiloting. Uh, just repilot the ship again, it happens. Uh, there's also no actual requirement for you, like I said, to be in a cockpit. I could fly this thing from the top of it if I really wanted to. Uh, if you're not sure if you have enough blocks for building a ship, you can just try and pilot it, and the server will tell you if you don't. So for example, here, I'm just going to construct a very simple little... call this a cruciform airship. We hop on this and try and pilot it. It tells us we have 7 out of the 40 required wool. Please add more. Uh, the other thing I want to go over with piloting airship is... Sorry, I should have done this when I was in the cockpit. The actual commands for turning the ship. Uh, you're not limited to just staying facing the cardinal points. Well, actually you are, but uh, you're not limited to staying facing one direction. So let's pilot the ship again. There, use the right mouse to guide the ship. Just going to climb a little so we actually have a bit of room to move here. Uh, unfortunately, you have to turn the ship using console commands, which is a little clunky, but given how seldom you have to do it, I don't know. There we go. There's the stepped off your ship and I wasn't even doing anything. Like I said in uh, the Blacksmith and Trader tutorial, uh, Minecraft isn't perfect. It's got some issues. So to turn the ship, uh, you can use command AC turn or ACT for shorthand, and then just left or right. So if you want to turn the ship to the right, we go ACT, right, and turn, and you'll end up pointing, for some reason, always uh, south, according to the minimap. Uh, but our ship is now facing the other direction. So we're going to go AC, turn right again. And there we've gone 180 degrees. Uh, one thing to keep in mind,